Hello everyone, today we have over a hundred dollars worth of Korean barbecue that Gatsby's gonna be trying out. They're all Wagyu beef, all different cuts. We're gonna cook in front of everybody. You can go over all of them and see which one Gatsby likes. Um, we're gonna heat this up a little bit hotter. This is our single rib pork belly. It is $10 per pound. Oh, Gatsby. One for you, one for me. Right here. The pork belly is pretty fatty, but it has a lot of flavor. Okay, while we wait for those to cook a little bit, we're gonna make our dipping sauce. So one of the dipping sauces I'm gonna use is sesame oil right over here. This is not gonna be for guests, but just for me. Just sesame oil, salt and pepper. We also have this. I'm not using gochujang because I don't really like spicy food. Korean soybean paste. I'm just gonna put some of this. It's getting nice and oily here. Our bulgogi is $25 a pound. It is a chuck. I roll. Let's get that right over here. And it's thinly sliced, so it should cook really fast. When you go to like a Korean all-you-can-eat barbecue place, this is like the, the kind of meat that they give you. So it's a little bit tougher. What do you think, Gatsby? It smells so good. Oh, look at that. Check it out. People in Korea, they don't use knives, they use scissors to cut everything. So we're gonna try it this Korean way where you wrap it in some lettuce. I'm gonna put some pieces of beef on it. Put a little bit of rice inside. Mmm. You want some bulgogi? <laughs> Is it too hot? Oh, it's hot. Sorry. Mmm. How was that? I'll feed you some here. Oh. The yummy. This is Gatsby's chopsticks right over here. Look at that. Oh. Would you like to try the pork belly now? Here you go. Are you ready? How was that? It was very fatty. It's a $30 per pound American Wagyu top blade. So let's try this out. So these are cut kind of like a steak. There we go. A sizzle. Mmm. While we have a little bit more space over here, we would try doing some kimchi on the grill too. Kind of like pickled spicy cabbage. Corgis can't have this. This is a spicy kimchi. Yeah, Gatsby, I can smell. Yeah, I know. I'll try it first. That's like significantly softer. What do you think? That one required less bites, right? Was that better? <laughs> Super good. It's super soft. Yeah, mm. that one's super tender. Wow. Gatsby's like, what? Where's mine? We still have two more to try. What are we gonna do? It's gonna get so delicious now. So over here we have our $35 short ribs. It's super marbled, all of the fat. That makes it super rich in flavor. I'm try that, don't worry. So Kalbi usually has like the bone in it, but this is cut the LA style, so it's a little bit different. These are gonna be so good, I can tell. This is like my favorite one at Korean Barbecue's Kalbi. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so good. Mmm. That one's good, right? This one's even better than the last one. Yeah. Yes, dude, that was the best that one. That was the best one, huh? Oh my gosh! Are you ready, Gatsby, for the last one? So our last one is the $38 a pound Zabutan Chuck Flap Tail Steak. Zabutan is a super premium cut. It has the exquisite marbling and tender meat quality. Oh man! Gatsby's like, my body is ready! Okay, I will try it first to make sure it's not too hot for you. 
You're gonna like this one, guys. Please. What did you think? Was that the best one? It's like a lot softer and more subtle tasting than the previous one. It has a cleaner taste. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Is that the best one? This one has the most flavor, I think. Yeah? I think it, I think definitely that one's the best one out of all. <laughs> mm. You're right, yes, Steve. The best one. Oh, we gotta try the cheese. We forgot. So apparently what a lot of Korean people do is they fry some cheese. My friend told me also that um, cheese and honey taste super good. I've never had it before together. Beef and cheese. There we go. Oh, look at that cheese. And then you dip it in a little bit of honey here. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta try the cheese, Sean. It's good. Honey? Yeah. Wow. Game changer with the cheese. You eat cheese with this all the time. I know. It's good. So good. I get what the, all these Korean people are like putting cheese on all the meat. It's so good. It's good too. It added a little sweet zing to it. <laughs> Jesse's like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> okay Gatsby, I hope you enjoyed our Korean barbecue meal. That was so much fun. It was so yummy. Since it's already nighttime, we gotta get back and rewind to the beginning of the day. Is it time for us to start the vlog? So today is the day I'm gonna go and get my Invisalign. I started to develop a lisp as well as some other health issues. I'm also not able to chew on food very easily. They don't even connect here. What happened? Because my teeth look pretty straight and I've had braces before. Problem is that I have something called a tongue thrust, which a lot of people have. Whenever I speak or swallow or anything, my tongue juts out and hits my teeth, so even when I got them straightened, my tongue just keeps moving my teeth. One solution is to go and have speech therapy in order to fix the tongue thrust, which I'm gonna have to do along with getting my teeth straightened again. And although they look really straight here in the x-rays and everything, they are very, very crooked. Especially the front teeth over here. They used to be straight like this, but now they move like this because my tongue keeps pushing them out. One thing about Invisalign that a lot of people don't know is that it's not just wearing these plastic uh, trays on your teeth. You actually do have to get like these little, but they call them buttons or hooks that they glue onto your teeth. It helps the plastic grip onto your tooth and it looks kind of like your teeth are growing teeth. I think my teeth look fine. And if it was just for looks, then um, it probably I probably wouldn't get Invisalign or get my teeth straightened at all. But since I am getting like other problems such as speech um, and uh, there's like other health problems too, I use like my tongue to chew a lot, which is really annoying. I am done. They had to put bumps on in order to be able to grip the plastic. I have bumps on like every single tooth. I was like, which teeth am I gonna get on? They're like pretty much every single one. I have like, I don't have bumps on like the back teeth. Nobody cares. <laughs> there they are. I guess they're pretty hard to see. And I have hooks, cause I'm gonna have to wear bands, but not this time. They said I just had to start wearing them in January. This will be part of the vlog. You'll get to watch me and my teeth straighten little by little with over the year. It's pretty hard for me to say S with it. S. Mississippi. <laughs> Hello everyone. Right now I am shipping out all of the orders from our Christmas merch drop from the last vlog. Thank you so much to everyone for ordering our stuff, showing your support, as well as being really patient. It is taking me a while to ship out all of the orders. Okay, I'm gonna ship out Louisa from Covina, California's order. She ordered one of our sign calendars, which is signed in the center fold over here, the poster of my signature, along with Gatsby's right over here. You can feel it. So Janelle ordered two pocket shirts. Here's the pink one. 
I noticed a lot of you guys really like these pocket shirts. They are really like the nicest shirts out of all of them. The Christmas sweaters and Christmas t-shirts are selling out really, really fast. So make sure at the end of the vlog to go to corgionfleek.com. So first off, I wanna thank these awesome fans who already got their Corgi on Fleek merchandise that I shipped them out. When you get your Corgi on Fleek merchandise, make sure to tag me, hashtag Corgi on Fleek. And if you get the calendar, I'd love to know which one your favorite picture is. So just take a picture with you holding up your favorite picture and you might be featured in the vlog. A lot of people were asking me more about the centerfold photo. So so I thought that I would give you guys a little bit more detail on what went down on the day of filming. This is where we're gonna do it, in this hallway here. These hallways in Stanford are very iconic. We're setting up the shot. Gatsby was standing on the box and I'm gonna be levitating higher than that. Oh dude, that's, that's pretty good. Basically just edited out the table that was holding me up and because of all these archways It causes a lot of shadows. So this is why we had to do this as the first shot of the day a day full of possibilities Let's go exploring. Does anybody know what this is a reference from? Fish food Add some to that tank There it goes. This white clownfish is not afraid to swim out of the tank now. He used to only stay in the anemone, and now he's swimming out in the open. Yeah, oh, so brave. You think the tank looks good too, right? Yeah. We got this package from Japan. Let's see what's inside. Oh, check it all out. Mmm, like a chocolate wafer fish. That one's good too. Mmm, half of the stuff left, but I ate quite a few. Now I gotta brush my teeth. Put my Invisalign back in. Yay! Do you wanna go to a special park? Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB who be running with. Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. State your name. Big Ben Dope on Flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base. Slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Okay, we made it. How do you feel, Gatsby? He's exhausted. It's time for me to head off to the gym. I'm hitting a little bit of everything today, including legs. So we'll see you guys at the gym. Bye. You know what we haven't done for a really long time? What? I'm Daisy! <laughs> Three, two, one, go. go! No! Yes! Come on, Daisy! You can do it! Yes! Whoa! Oh, you didn't break the wall yet? That was close. No! <sighs> oh my Hi gosh! You're Hi destroying me! <laughs> yeah! Oh, you almost broke the wall! No! Please! Yes! What? How did that come? <laughs> Are you serious? You attacked? Look at my HP! <laughs> no! 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 Go! Oh my gosh! Yes! yes. <laughs> yeah, Daisy, you did it! Wow! <laughs> Ooh! Look at that! Wow. Ooh. <laughs> He's just chilling. Wow. He looks too comfortable there. <laughs> Favorite one. <laughs> this one's just too funny. Selfie. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one too. Ooh, I think this one and this one are tied for my favorite ones. Uh, uh, that's a good one. I like that. That's pretty cute. Yay! Looks good though. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Yay!
Okay, so what do you think of all the Korean barbecue food, Gatsby? That was so good. My tummy is so happy. Isn't yours? Don't forget, we have our Christmas merch launch. A lot of stuff is already selling out. Make sure to go to corgionfleek.com now. We're gonna head to bed and see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's Ryan and Gatsby. Wait, this isn't Gatsby. <gasps> Who are 